hey guys welcome to my channel thank you for watching this vlog if you are new please subscribe if you are a subscriber thank you please watch the video to the end and leave a comment down below so today i have two things that i want to talk about first of all i want to talk about my online shopping experience the online shopping experience that i want to talk about is jumia so the first time i shopped with jumia i bought a phone and uh, my experience was very good but first of all they delivered my phone on time and they kept calling to check on where i was where the exact place that we where it will be delivered and it was delivered as we agreed by the person who was supposed to deliver it the delivery guy and uh, it was pay on delivery so that means they bring you the product then after you get the product you pay but i paid through mobile mobile banking mpesa so my experience was very good and that made me try to purchase another item and the item there was no option of pay on delivery because it was something to be shipped from abroad so i had to pay first is when they can ship the product so this product i ordered it last month on july i think it was on 9th july i ordered it on 9th i paid for the product i paid for the delivery on 9th then uh, after it went through they sent me a confirmation email that my payment has been received the order has been booked something like that then after two days that was on 11th uh, july they sent me a mail that my order has been shipped from china and it's on its way coming they told me it will take like two weeks in nairobi and three additional days when you are outside nairobi so i'm outside nairobi so i estimated like i i was like okay within three weeks i will have it so my problem started on friday last week which day was friday last week i have to check it up so i got an email on third last week that they tried reaching me but they could not reach me they'll try again if they don't they'll it's good to get the exact mail. Oh. Okay, I thought that thing was post. So, let me try if I can access the mail and just be sure of what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about. Let me just read the mail for you. We are tempted to deliver your Jumia package. There's a package number today. However, despite our efforts, it couldn't be delivered. We'll reschedule the delivery and our delivery agents will attempt to deliver again at the earliest, which should ideally be the next working day. So the next working day was on Monday. Please note that your order will get cancelled after three unsuccessful delivery attempts. Any further question need assistance, please contact us on their, their contact address, www.jumia.co.ke. So I called them on Monday. And calling them is not so easy. Their customer care is always very busy. That was my experience. Then finally, when the call went through, they directed me to the people who were supposed to deliver it. Then those people called me. They told me they'll, de they'll deliver it the following day, which was on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I waited for their call. I didn't see anything. They sent me email again on August 6th, saying, thank you for your inquiry. We confirm that the order is available for collection at the Fargo station. Kindly plan and collect the item. We apologize for any inconvenience cost. Now, they are telling me to go to the station to pick up my product. I paid for the delivery because they say they deliver. The reason why I paid for delivery is because they said that when you pay for delivery, they bring it at your doorstep or at your convenience. The same way they did with my first order that I did. But the only difference, this one, I had paid for it. I had paid for the delivery. I had paid for everything. The other one, I had not paid. So maybe the other one, they were more, they were more, I don't know how to put it. But the other one, they handled it well because I had not paid. So they had to bring the product. I paid for the delivery and also the product. But this one, I had paid for everything. I think that is why they were really relaxed. So after getting the email, I had to go to the station myself and bring the and bring this product that I ordered for. Something that I didn't plan for because when you pay for delivery, you expect 
the item to be shipped. They didn't call me again to check whether they'll bring it or not. The only the person who called me just told me I go and pick it in the station. Then they followed that one with an email two days later. So my experience with items that you pay before delivery, you pay for the delivery first. It's not so good. It's my first experience and I don't like it. I was not so happy. Please share your experiences if you've been shopping with Jumia. If you've ordered something and paid for it. How was the delivery? How did you experience the customer care? Please share down in your comments below. And if you've not shopped with them, maybe you should try. It's good. Their products are good. So the product I bought, I wanted to review with you guys. So it's here. Close your eyes. <laughs> Ta-da! Apparently, I think after they called me, they even wrote where it's supposed to be delivered at. The, my exact address is here, but somehow they decided not to deliver it. They, they wanted me to go and bring it from the station. I don't know why. Maybe they just felt lazy or they felt my product is too small that it is not worth bringing it. Let's just open together and see what's inside it. I'm so happy. Are you happy? I'm so excited. I am so excited. Can you guess what is this? What is it? Can you guess? Guess, 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 guess. Can you guess? Let me try putting it close. Can you guess? If you can't guess, let me let us just open it together. So hard and so tight. The protection seal is so tight. Mm. First seal is gone. Oh, I'm so happy. Now you know what it is. <laughs> You know what it is now. If someone does not know yet, you know what it is now. Ooh, my tripod stage. Guess what? My first ever tripod stand. Ooh. So if you didn't know, I've been vlogging carrying my phone like this. And when I'm vlogging, when I'm not carrying my phone, the way I'm now vlogging, you're wondering who is holding the phone. I'm just alone in the house right now. So, I am going to show you just a little bit the way I always struggle to put that phone so that I can vlog. And you're going to see why I'm so excited when I saw this. I'm so happy. I always put two kilos, this one and this one. Then I put camera. Then I use Russell's car to support the camera. Let me just zoom in so that you can see. Russell Sky is there, the two pillows and the camera for vlogging is there. I'm so happy. So happy. So this is my tripod stand that I ordered. Yeah. This is my tripod stand. I don't know if it, there's no manual. There's no manual. It didn't come with a manual, so... I don't know three way bit level for second aluminum three point stand. There's no money. I'm trying to figure out how it works because I thought it would come with a manual but there is no manual so this one is supposed to be somewhere I'm just trying to figure out how it works this thing should come with the manual. 
So please tell me your experience when you, if you are a vlogger, the first time you bought your tripod stand, if it came with a manual, please comment comment down below. If you are a vlogger that, like me, please comment down below if your tripod stand came with a manual. This one did not come with a manual, so. Oh, this is flexible. This, this seems like fun. Let me just test this using my phone. It didn't come with a manual, but I think finally I figured out how I can fix it. This is the surprise of the surprises. So I am so happy. I think I like it. It's very nice. I figured out how I can fix it myself and it came out so okay. So my vlogging will be a little bit easier. Comment down below on what you think and please remember to subscribe, 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 subscribe.